The Faculty of Engineering, Built Environment and IT has 14 departments. We've got about uh, 11,000 students, so it is a large faculty. Our engineering school is ranked in the top 1% in the world. If you've got a good degree here, you can go anywhere in the world. Our courses are completely accredited. Yeah, it's a very high standard of education here, so they're obviously the highest requirements and it's very hard to get in here. I tend to have a very high quality of students. So the student finishing from my program will end up with very high marks. Not because I lower the standard or give a high mark. All our students are evaluated internationally by external examiners. We have the cream of the crop here at the University of Pretoria, absolutely. In this university, you are inspired to think for yourself. You're not gonna come and be spoon-fed, and it's what makes uh, a better graduate. The beauty about the work we do in our department is that students will have the opportunity to work with industry. We really solve practical problems in every sector, like manufacturing, agriculture, and service organizations. Our students are being exposed to a very diverse education and training environment, which I believe will enhance their abilities to deal with very difficult situations on mines one day. We are interested in South Africa's specific needs. We try to be involved in issues on the ground. We go into rural areas, we go into townships, we go into inner city areas, and we try to combine consulting, research, and teaching in a way that we all benefit. Our students are really sought after. Our architecture students and landscape and interior students are seen in the marketplace as being both very creative, design innovative, but at the same time also very well grounded in their ability to understand how a building or a landscape or an interior is made. The community-based project module is a compulsory module for all undergrad students in the faculty. They learn project management skills in the process because this time there's a real client, a real project, real money and they must have a happy client at the end. It's very important for engineers to know about management because most of them run projects. Engineering managers would work shoulder to shoulder with your MBA type of manager in the company. The GSTM is, I think it's the first graduate school that offers such a, a niche market for engineers. We link project management to technology management to engineering management. That's unique in South Africa, that's unique in fact on the continent. In terms of research, our university is incredibly well equipped. The most fun we have is not behind our desk, but in our labs. The Department of Mining Engineering at the University of Pretoria, through the generous sponsorship of Kumba Iron Ore, built a virtual reality center for mine design, which is unique contribution in Africa. Interdisciplinary research. You get a doctor, you get an entomologist, you get a chemical engineer working together to find a solution to malaria. That makes it fun as well. Putting it all together, sometimes one plus one is much more than two. There's always new information, new areas to work on, so it never gets boring. Our cutting edge research in microelectronics is basically competing with others in the world. To date, we have something like seven international patents, and as a result, our students who work in this research have the opportunity to work, network and compete with people in Europe and the US. Our best students tend to get work even before they finish their third year programs and, and that's across the board. I feel that TACS have been able to really see my full potential and I've been able to grow as a student and it's been really great for me. I'm in love with UP. I still think uh, even my postdoctorate I'll do it here in UP. <laughs> no doubt. <laughs> One thing that this university does teach you is that essence of learning how to learn. After you've been here for like as long as I have, you become like most like a small family. People contribute, people engage, people ask questions, they're curious. Everyone's passionate about what they do. I always say if you have a passion you must follow that because that helps to improve the world.